guys had a had a one point game at, at halftime. And, uh, where do you think the breakdowns were tonight defensively for you guys, especially in that second half? Uh, probably Donovan Mitchell's with rejects. Um, they was just getting wild over three in the, in the second half. Like this, while we was turning it over, missing layups, we missed a lot of layups, easy layups. I don't know what was up with that. It's kind of a case of, of off, that offense leading to easy shots for them. Yeah, the especially missed layups. Like, wide open layups, yeah, it's going to lead to open threes on other end. It's this, you guys have lost four straight on, and they're all against pretty good teams with, with good records here. These guys were in the playoffs last year. Atlanta was in the, the conference finals. Just Are you guys maybe learning something about what it takes to compete at, at a high level, kind of going through the, this, this streak here? Man, we just, I feel like we just come out and play hard. Like, we can, we got a chance to win every game, but we can't play hard for the first half and don't play hard the second half. Or we got to be mentally ready every game. Like, we can compete with any team. Like, it's no doubt in my mind. Like, we could have beat them tonight. But, I mean, the fact that we came out playing, like, bad in the second half, we lost the game. And, and Finch was saying that he thinks that some of the slippage defensively been on the ball in the last couple of games. Have you noticed that? Like, what what do you think is is happening there that that you guys were doing much better earlier in the season? We was just getting into the ball. I mean, now we kind of like letting them come to us and the screen come, and it's a great screen, so it's hard to get over. So once you're not into the ball and they send a great screen, you did every time. So that's I, I agree with him. Uh, on the layups, the last couple of games have been a little rough there. I mean, was tonight, w was Gobert a factor there? Or it seemed like you guys were getting there and he wasn't affecting as many shots and it's just, you were just missing them. Uh, I think he was in, in people's heads. Like, just, he wasn't even blocking shots for a long thing. I think he was just, people was just going to the rim and it was just like, oh, they got Rudy Gobert. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling him, like, bro, he's the same as anybody else, bro. Like, to me, the best repertory game in the league is Porzingis. Like, anytime I go against Porzingis, I don't get no layups. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't get why we couldn't finish on Rudy Gobert, but don't put no fear in my heart. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. And where does this team miss D'Lo? Uh, for sure, offensively. Because um, once you poke, like if you post cat, they double cat, and they're not leaving me, so they're making anybody else shoot the ball. I mean, with D'Lo on the floor, you got you got to pick and choose now. Like you gonna double cat, cool. We got D'Lo, he gonna shoot it. Of course, he gonna get to like you know, offensively everything. We miss a D'Lo for sure. Is that I guess big picture D'Lo or not? Like the way to beat this cat, get it guarded by small, and then getting double thing is is the best way to beat it. Just making shots around that when he kicks it out to the other four of you guys? I, know, I told Cat the best way to beat it. Um, you got to go quick. Yeah. Um, I told him at halftime, like, you waiting on the double. Like, you telling him, yeah, come double me. Now it's like, you're the best player, best player on the floor. You, they take you out of the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, then when they double you, they not rotate. They stand with me and making everybody else beat you. So, I just told him, like, you got to go quick. Like, if you watch, and I told him this, like, you know, I told him this. I'm like, if you watch Joel B play, you have to double Joel B. Like, there's <laughs> nobody in the league that can guard him. So, he goes quick. Like, you can't double him because he catches and goes quick. Like, so I told Cat, like, you catch the ball and, and you're holding it. Like, you're waiting for the double, like, telling him to come double me instead of just catching it and going. Like, they can't guard you. And I told him, like, it's disrespectful for them to put number 44 on me, bro. Like, that's disrespectful. So, yeah, he, he, he don't. You know he got to kill all of them. Like the best player on the floor every night, he got to kill. Them. Would it make it easier for the entry passes and everything too if he got a little deeper against these smalls? Yeah, for sure. I mean, but no matter where he catch it, like if he go quick, it's nothing they can do. Like, I, like I said, I tell him that all the time. Like, you waiting, bro? Like you, you sitting there with the ball holding it like this, and they come and then you want to. You know what I'm saying? Then you try to go. Like, nah. When well, you catch it, go boom. Now what? Like, they can't guard you, bro. Like, I be telling this all, every game, every practice, like, bro, nobody can guard you. Like, you shoot the ball, you can quick, you can handle the ball, you got touch, like, you got everything, bro. Like, they can't guard you, bro. So, like, if he just stopped waiting on the double team, we would be a way better team. Like, just catch it and go, because now you can't double him.
And then you got to double on the catch. Now it's better. Now it's, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, sure. How nice was that pat that back out there tonight? Uh, it was beautiful. Um, man, he makes us play a lot better. Uh, I mean, we didn't play good in the second half, but you saw, like, in the first half, like, he brings energy. The intensity is always up when he's on the floor. We know he's going to make the right play and all that. Oh, Barry didn't seem to bother him, right? No, not at all. Uh, Pat Florida game was crazy. I told him that at halftime, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah.